Yaddy yaddy folks, it is Diecast Spotlight here again. In today's video, well, we got one epic Brad Kozlowski paint scheme here. Almost a darling to drawback from last season. It's the discount tire Ford Mustang. I love it how the paint scheme matches the box. Let's go and get it out. Alrighty folks, brand new, out of the good old package, and if you haven't already, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have it. But holy crap is this diecast, just, I, oh my god, I love this paint scheme. Dude, they had the same discount tire paint scheme from like, what, 2018, 19, and 2020. Holy crap, this thing looks so freaking good, man. I mean, it just really brings you back to 2010 with the NASCAR Nationwide Series, which is what this paint scheme is based off of. And I tell you what, they did a phenomenal job wrapping and designing this whole paint scheme to fit a Gen 6 Monterey Cup car. Got Keselowski right there on the front windscreen. This is the final primary paint scheme for Brad Keselowski um, with his tenure at Penske. Uh, obviously, he's going over to Roush Fenway as a team owner next year, which is going to be extremely exciting. Um, I... I hope he takes Roush, and I hope he freaking runs with it, man. I hope he gets that program going. You got tires.com, discount tire. Got Penzoil, got the Ford logo over to the front of the car here. You got the Mustang uh, logo right there. You got the Pony, the, the Pony Express galloping along. Uh, interesting color with the headlights here. They look like they have a small yellow tint to them. I don't know if that's something new with the 2020 Mustangs, but I really like this splitter here, guys. The top of the splitter is painted red, but the bottom is black. So you have kind of like the straw ripe that's present on the splitter very very difficult to wrap they did a great job with that obviously you got a sunoco decal there and holy crap man look one of my things about the the discount tire car for you know the last few years is that there wasn't enough i would say detail or design to it but with this one they put a whole lot more black on the race car and i tell you what it really stands out this thing looks freaking fantastic so obviously would it be in a Penske car you got the red wheels and look how beautiful they painted this red wheel here this one not so much but I tell you what the red back wheel holy cow they, they did a great job with that so you got Brad Kozlowski right there on the driver's side window Ford Pertec PPG Mazak Dent Wizard and safety clean yeah safety clean discount tire American Ethanol Freightliner uh, Snap-on Auto Trader Wabash you got Goodyear like how this little uh fin so to speak Lines up perfectly with that Goodyear decal. Very nice. Cup Series and race car. And fellas, if you want to get this diecast, it is still over there in stock, I believe, at Circle B Diecast and Plan B Sales. You'll have to check it out. But if you want to get free shipping on any orders, $20 or more. So if you want to get a Chase Elliott's uh, Roval 2020 race twin, I'm pretty sure they still got that one over there as well. Uh, I'll have to go check it out. Any orders, $20 or more, you'll get free shipping. So over here to the back end of this car, you got the red spoiler, which looks good. God, that looks good. I mean, look at the car from this angle. If this does not give you 2010 NASCAR and ESPN Nationwide Series, I don't know what does. I think my favorite part is the black that's behind the number two. Just It gives the car more variety, man. It, it is a very welcome paint scheme change. Discount tire, let's get you taken care of. Got the number two right there. Uh, Ford license plate. And then I'm not sure what that decal is right there. But um, yeah, this is a pretty much a, a bootleg Donington throwback. Last year at the 2020 Southern 500, Bragg is allowed to brought out this paint scheme and um well he kind of ran with it he it's not very common when you see a, a throwback paint scheme become a primary race car and i wish more teams would do that honestly I, I would love to see some primary paint schemes be uh throwbacks i think it looks great uh there's nothing wrong with it and um this paint scheme just looks so freaking good man i mean look at the freaking side skirts bro Red top of the splitter, side skirts, red, red spoiler, red wheels. Holy cow, man. To me, this thing is light years better than the 2020 edition of this car. I mean, if you could get this one or that, holy cow, what are you thinking? This thing is the, this is the Taj Mahal of the discount tire paint schemes, man. I tell you, what a beautiful freaking race car here, my dude. Holy cow. The, the, the pinstriping, the black, the red, the white, just a, a amazing color combination, and it's just well executed with this paint scheme. And, you know, like I said, this is the final year for Brad over there at the 2 Crew. So, uh, th this car could get down the road. I, ha I have no clue how many they're making, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of these Brad Kozlowski cars are hard to get down the road knowing he's going to be a team owner at Roush. This is the final year of the Gen 6 in the Cup Series. So we could see these brand cars get very difficult to get down the road. 
Of course, you have Worth right there, and Matt Diecast is actually releasing very soon the 2021 edition of the Worth paint scheme, which I cannot wait for that. Uh, Kislowski on the back window. Uh, but absolutely, guys, what a great diecast here, man. I am look, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I seen this car, kind of, you know, oh, it's 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 gonna be shipped here and blah blah blah. I was like, okay, it's it's gonna be just a normal paint scheme. I cannot tell you how much better this paint scheme looks on a freaking 164 car. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it is a 9.8 out of 10. Almost a flawless paint scheme here, man. I mean, I really don't know what they could have done better than this. I really don't. Um, maybe red roof rails or something. I don't know. The red side skirts pop. The splitter pops. The spoiler. Holy crap, man. This is one of the most well-proportioned Gen 6 Mustangs I have ever seen. I, I, I almost give it a 10 out of 10. I really do. This is... One of my favorite Brad Kozlowski diecasts ever. The throwback to the 2010 Nationwide uh, Championship, which he won the cup, or he won the championship for Nationwide in 2010. This is a really, really special throwback. And I, I tell you what, if you have not picked up this car, what are you doing? Because this thing is one of the best Brad Kozlowski cars I have ever seen. I, I really mean that. Something about that paint scheme is just so well proportioned. But hey, if you wanted to even say, well, um, they, they ain't making the 2020 Donate to throwback for Brad Kozlowski, you could just take this one. Um, you could paint the spoiler silver. You could put the playoff logo front windshield banner. And pretty much you have a Donate to throwback die cast right here. Uh, the box, though, I really wish they would have took the red from the side skirts and they would have put it on the box. I think that would have looked better than salmon red. <laughs> That's just me or salmon pink, if you will. But what a great looking die cast, man. I tell you, one thing I love so much about it is that when you see the, the, the striping, the pinstriping and stuff, the pinstriping is very subtle. But what really sells this car to me is they take advantage of the body lines of the Ford. You know, the way the side skirts are and the way the, the splitter is kind of a, a kick out on the nose, much like a 03 Pontiac. It's just something about it. They take the accents of the car, the low profile, and they put that bright, high contrast red, and it just it just works, bro. It just works. Wow. I I, I really am speechless about this car, guys. Um, great freaking paint scheme. Thoroughly surprised. Like I was not expecting the car to look that good in diecast form because I've seen the car on racetrack. It looks great, but it doesn't look wow great you know um this is a classic example of when the die cast is so much better than the actual paint scheme man if you haven't picked up this thing what are you doing great freaking die cast here very well could be the best pinsky release of the year um in my opinion probably not better than the new hampshire car though the new hampshire car is really cool Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you can, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and like, comment, and subscribe. How y'all doing out there? If you haven't already, I'd love to know. Hope you're having a, uh, a, a jolly good last few days of your summer break. But uh, with all that being said, folks, Dykes Buffet signing off.